This hat has become the stuff of legend. Stetson, everyone from Buffalo Bill to presidents and pop stars has worn one. Stetson invented the cowboy hat, and today their most popular style is the skyline. The country music stars on television today, that is the profile that they wear. The first cowboy hat was constructed as protection from the sun and the rain. Fur felt makes this hat extremely durable. It can withstand the harshest weather. Water, rain, snow will not hurt your hat. Using century-old techniques and machinery, the Stetson reputation was built on craftsmanship. There's something about the heirloom quality of an old Stetson hat that other things just don't have. The making of these legendary hats starts out exactly where you would expect it to, Texas. At their Longview factory, fur from European rabbit and Argentinian hair arrive. You heard that right. Fur is more weather resistant, dirt resistant, and durable than wool. If you took a Stetson fur hat today and took a glass of water and pour it on top of that hat, that water will beat up like mercury. 100-year-old felting techniques turn the fur to felt. The process starts by mixing the furs together. After mixing, we run it through our blowers. The blower separates longer hair from down. The longer hair is disposed of. It's the down that's used to make fur felt. For the skyline, we're going to weigh out eight ounces of fur. From the blower, the fur enters the former, where it is sucked onto a spinning cone that has a vacuum inside. It's very loose, very, very fragile, and very much like cotton candy. The cone is about eight times the size of a finished hat. It will be shrunk through several stages in the felting process. We wrap it in burlap, put a protective cone over the top of the perforated cone, and then we drop it into hot water. The 160 degree Fahrenheit water is what starts the felting process by shrinking and tightening the fur fibers. If you look under an electron microscope, you'd see these little barbs on the fibers of the, of the raw fur. The barbs in the fur lock together. To continue the felting process, the partially shrunken hat is put into a machine that applies pressure using rollers. And we just sprinkle them with a small amount of water and throw them in the machine. The hats are run through the machine six times, making them shrink about four inches. The tips have to be kept from sticking together, otherwise... You get a pointy hat like this. Using different techniques of hot water and pressure, the felting process continues through more stages of shrinking until hat size is reached. And then we're going to put the hat bodies into pressure dyers. Special dyes range in color from silver belly to chocolate. The hats also get a coating of natural shellac. It's um, beetle saliva. Yep, shellac comes from the lac bug. Shellac helps to stiffen the hat, kind of like starching a pair of blue jeans. A hat without shellac is kind of flimsy like a dish rag. The shellac has to dry before the hats go through tipping and brimming. This is where the hat starts to look like a hat. Through stretching and pulling, you're going to pull the crown out. Then it's on to the brim. The brass fingers on the brimmer are pushing the bottom of the cone out. It may look a little like a waffle iron, but it's the blocking machine. The hat's put on a form and submerged in water that's 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Putting the hat on the blocker, lock the fingers down. Forms out the whole hat. Uh, no, Earl doesn't get paid by the hat. Those greenbacks were given to him for his birthday by his coworkers. Go from here, we put it on the rack, bring, put it in the dryer, dry overnight, bring it over there, ship them out, pack them up and ship them. After drying, these hats are going 130 miles on the open road to the Stetson Finishing Factory in Garland, Texas. The Stetson Skylines arrive at the Garland factory, shrunk, dyed, and ready for polish. Every hat is made one at a time, person by person, hat by hat. The wooden block in the basic profile of the skyline is put into the hat. One, it gives the taper and the shape of the crown. It also gives the head size. The brim is pulled out from the body. 
It will be trimmed down later. The hats are shellacked again. They're also dried and shaped again. Then it's on to brim plating. The brim plating, in essence, kind of irons that brim smooth and flat. In the finishing process, the hat is sanded with sandpaper and cloths. This really is the key where we're taking the rough hat body and turning it into a beautiful, smooth, textured, finished hat. Many of the machines Stetson uses are antiques. Using original equipment means replacing parts ain't easy. We have warehouses that have nothing in them but old equipment that we use for blueprints or we use for parts. After the brim and crown are made smooth, the felt has to be compacted. Powder is worked into the pores for a final polish. After we finish powdering the hat, we need to start shaping the hat. To form the crease, a rubber plug is fit inside the hat body under 80 pounds of pressure. We're going to bevel the edge, and that just finishes off the edge nice and smooth. Next, the cowboy hat brim needs that certain roll. When we come to flanging the brim, those are electrically heated, and they're running in the neighborhood of about 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Then it's on to brim cutting. The hat is inspected and cleaned up, and then it's ready for trim. We will sew a genuine leather sweat. After the sweat, the satin lining goes in. It features a well-loved seam. The last drop is the Stetson iconic image of the cowboy kneeling to water his horse with water from his Stetson hat. Then there's one last inspection to make sure these beauties are without blemish. Cut all my strings off, and I wipe my head up. And as I'm wiping, I'm looking for defects. If perfection is achieved, this cowboy hat is ready for the range, or the stage, or the urban jungle. And plastic the bag, and then it's ready for packing. Carefully made with quality material using age-old processes, Stetsons are built to last a lifetime, and then some. There's something about the heirloom quality of an old Stetson hat that other things just don't have.